Have you seen the birds, Lord Sakai? What birds are you looking for? The golden ones. Songs that remind you of more peaceful times. Ah, oh, they were my mother's favorite. She used to say they knew our island better than any other creature. I believe it, my lord. If it weren't so dangerous, I'd follow one. See where the golden bird leads me. Maybe I'll do just that. But you should wait until our home is safe once more. I will, Lord Sakai. Thank you. Down. Who's been taken? The invaders took our house. Down the road. My wife is there. With my son. You left your family behind? What choice did I have? I'm no warrior. <sighs> I'll help them. Stay here. family here, maybe outside. Mm. Laundry, still damp. The attack was sudden.
someone was killed here. Bodies were dragged, thrown in the water. A child's toy. His family didn't survive. I should let him know. My lord, did you find them? Hmm. Your family was killed. I'm sorry. Why didn't you save them? I ran. Like a coward. I should be dead too. It's not your fault. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Resist the invaders. Help those in need. Yes, my lord. killed these people? A fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts, Shigenori. The fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima, Shigenori, never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. 
Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. That's the bridge the musician mentioned. Someone weeping. Where? My lord, so many. He's slaughtered. Did you see the man who killed them? I know who he is. Yasuhira Koga. I've heard the name. He fought for the Yarikoa clan. Would you recognize him? I'll never forget that leering face. Follow me. Perhaps I can pick up his trail on the other side of the bridge. Horse tracks. Yasuhiro was in a hurry. What more do you know of Yasuhiro Koga? Only that he was a retainer for the Yarikawa clan years ago. After the rebellion was crushed, the clan was dissolved and retainers dismissed. Rumor says he left Tsushima, but when the Mongols attacked, he returned. From where, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. He cannot be allowed to live after what he's done. So not so. Oh! 
Yasuhira Koga anywhere. We're pursuing a man named Yasuhira Koga. He just left. He's been staying in the watchtower. Working with the Mongols? Yes. But last night they argued. Only made out one word. Shigenori. I'll search the watchtower. Find somewhere safe before more Mongols come. Stuck here. Wait. What has Yasuhira been doing? White leaves, like those bleached by lightning in the tail. The Mongols have their own version of Shigenori's tail. Maybe he wanted to compare it to the musician's version. A dueling ring. He's looking for it. Yasuhira is looking for someone who can teach him Shigenori's heavenly strike. The white leaves. There are trees like that not far from here. That's where he went. You've helped enough. Get to safety with the others. Thank you, my lord. I hope you punish that monster. Need to find white-leafed trees. I 
Ice Wing! Ice you! Stop! I told him everything I know! Windman! We'll stop. <laughs> was a man named Yasuhiro with these Mongols. Mm. He wanted to learn the heavenly strike from my grandfather and took him away. Your grandfather's in danger. Where did they go? His old training ground, a dueling ring on the Komatsu coast. Please, <laughs> save him. Yasuhiro cannot learn the heavenly strike.
Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Blade has seen many duels. Footprints. Still fresh. Yasuhira Kuga. The butcher of the rebellion. Time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yorikawa burned, boy. Fifteen years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Deserve greater respect than this. I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it.
Sensei Ishikawa might be able to help me. If he's alive. Taka's counting on us. I love the kid, but this is too dangerous. It will never work. We'll make it work. This the samurai? You can call me Lord Sakai. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord. I am Kenji, upstanding merchant, renowned sake brewer, and the best swindler on the island. That's why he's going to help us rescue my brother from Azamo Bay. That town's a fortress. If the Mongols took it, we'll need an army to penetrate the walls. Or a single delivery of sake. <laughs> It'll never work. Get your sake ready. We'll discuss the plan on the move. <laughs> Let's have a drink first. Talk this through. Now, Kenji. When we get close to the town, you can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery I always sell them. They love my dars. Dars, Mughal, give a dars now! You've been doing business with the enemy. I keep the Mongols drunk, and they let me keep my head. <laughs> All set. You sure you want to go through with this? Anything for Taka. How bad is the occupation in Azuma Bay? A few people fought back. The ones left alive are prisoners. Or slaves. But you never saw Taka? No. But someone's been working the forge the past few...
days. Maybe it's your brother. How long have you two known each other? Since I was too young to know better. I was just starting to brew sake. Sold you know my first batch. <laughs> Tasted like piss, but it was cheap. For a while, I tried to get Taka's help selling it. Turned out he was too soft. People told him sob stories, and he'd give them sake, free of charge. Mongols. Damn, you two better get in the cart. There aren't many. I can handle them. No, Jin. Taka is so close. Please. All right. Get ready. They might search the cart. You said they don't do that. The town gates? I've never seen them this far out here. Please, 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 please. Stop. Dars. Dars for Azamo Bay. Aha, Dars. Hurry up. Just a little farther. What was all that screaming? Doesn't matter. Keep it down. Is that what Taka's going through? Your brother's a skilled blacksmith. They won't treat him like that. You don't know that. We're getting close to quiet. <laughs> I can't believe this worked. Oh no. Somebody must have pissed off the Mongols. They burned half the town. This is where we part ways. Keep the Mongols drunk and distracted. I'll do my best. Stay safe, Kenji. And you, Lord Sakai. Taka's waiting for us. Let's go. Once we're done, I'll meet you at the crossroads behind town. We need a vantage point to scout ahead. This way. Remember, no alarms. We do this quietly. All the prisoners suffer. Got it. He's in charge. A slaver. Bastard. He's inspecting the prisoners like they're horses. He might lead us to Taka. Follow him. Oh, 
Negum bed, hm? Mosara and Vassar, or tell me. Huge Boston Bush. Yeah. 
There's a gate nearby. Then that's where we break out. They found the slaver. They'll kill us. We need to hide. No, keep moving. We can climb those crates. Where are we going? Kenzie's waiting for us at a crossroads. Kenzie's with you? If he made it out alive. Kenzie's waiting for us at a crossroads. Kenzie's with you. If he made it out alive. Send your best warrior. They're coming for us. Get in the tall grass and stay down. It's Kenji! Taka! You made it! Were you followed? No, but we can't go back to my place. It's crawling with Mongols. We should go. We have to put some distance between us and Azamo Bay.
Haven't seen a Mongol since dawn. I think we're clear. We need to figure out where to go next. There's a place up ahead where you can see most of Izahara. Everyone all right? I could use a drink and some sleep. I can help with one of those. Taka, you've been quiet. First time in days, I haven't felt like I was about to die. My lord, I am grateful. But how do you know Kenji and my sister? I owe you know my life. <laughs> we have something in common. I'm not built for riding all night. Komatsu is just over that ridge. They have a forge. One of the best on the island. Good place to make tools. Maybe something to get gin over the walls of Castle Canada. What do you say, Taka? My lord, I'll do anything to repay you for freeing me. Thank you. Taka, Kenji, get some rest. We can't stay here long. How are you doing? I have my brother back. He's shaken up. Can you get him to Komatsu in one piece? With food and rest, he'll be fine. Your brother wasn't the only prisoner in Azomo Bay. You're going to save them. And make their captors suffer. Good. Word for Komatsu Forge. I'll join you when I can. Jin? Thank you. I wonder if Sensei Ishikawa survived the invasion. That's my noble. 